and welcome to this series of your and my favorite Chinese food. And what are we going to do right now? Let's make this nice chatpata American chopsy. And in America, there is nothing like an American chopsy. It is we who have invented it and have loved it completely. So why not be proud about this invention of ours? And let's see how to make it perfectly. So to make American chopsy, you need to have a nice good bed of fried noodles. You see this? This is something that you need to do, but how do you get to do this? Is the simplest way to do it is what I'm going to show you right now. And what I have here is a bowl of boiled noodles. So how do you do this? It's very, very simple. You just have to take your boiled noodles and throw it in a pan of hot oil. I have a kadai in which there's oil. So just with the help of a fork, or with the help of a knife, just spread it round so that it covers the entire kadhai evenly like this. And now you have to let the bottom of the noodles go crisp. Once that happens, we will just flip this. So this is going to take some time. So what I'm going to do is in the meanwhile, let's heat up another wok like this here. And in this wok, we're going to take some more oil. And after we've had our fried noodles ready, now is the time to make the vegetables that we will top it up over it. Now, um, American chopstick can be made veg and non-veg both, but the sauce is just the same. So what we will do is we'll make it with vegetables and in case if you love to have your American chopstick with chicken, you can put a lot of chicken into it. But yes, we're definitely going to put the fried egg on top because that's my favorite. So here the oil has got hot to which we're going to add some ginger and garlic, a little bit of ginger and lots of garlic along with some onions and uh, some bean sprouts some cabbage some french beans carrots lots of vegetables and some capsicum you will definitely have a question that i did not saute the garlic or the onion at all See, the oil was very hot in the pan. The minute I put the garlic in, it had started to brown. So I just left it as it is and I put in all the vegetables. And by the time all the vegetables came in, the garlic was perfectly golden brown. What I'm going to do right now is after I just stir it up, I'm going to remove the vegetables and just make the sauce. Because the vegetables are all cut in a way that it doesn't take too long to cook. And I want to let them stay a little crunchy. So what I'm going to do is, in this plate, I'll remove all the vegetables. And in this same pan, we'll now make the sauce. Wipe it up. How do you make the sauce? We'll first take some stock. What I have here is vegetable stock. I need to keep some for the cornstarch. So what you have to do is, I've got some cornstarch here, in which I'll put some stock. And this is going to be my dissolved cornstarch to thicken the gravy. Okay, now into this, we'll add in some salt. Some pepper powder. Some soya sauce, very little soya. Remember one thing that American chopsy is red in color. So if you add too much of soya, the sauce will go black. So a little bit of soya, just for flavor. Lots of tomato ketchup and some red chilli sauce. So now let all of this come to a boil. And you see the noodles take really long because it's been some time since we were making this recipe and the noodles still haven't browned. So which is why you need to start the recipe with frying of the noodles first and then followed by making everything else. You see this color? This is just the bottom. Now you have to flip this like this and let the underside also go nice and golden the same color as the top is currently now coming back to the sauce the sauce is nice and boiling now let's add the cornstarch to this to make it thick a little bit of cornstarch is just enough the minute you add the cornstarch you can see the sauce has thickened and there's one more thing that we need to add to this and that's vinegar and the minute you add vinegar the extra thickened sauce will just get toned down. So don't worry, you don't need to add any stock at this stage. 
We'll add the vinegar and then decide. So a little bit of vinegar to this. Mix it up. Okay, so this is done. And yes, not to forget the fried egg. So in this pan, let's take some more oil. And as I can see here, my other disc is also done. So now, the pan is done, it's got the oil heated and to which we'll just break an egg. I think if you're making a big portion of American Chopsy, then you need to put two eggs at least. Let's sprinkle some salt over it. Some pepper. And we'll wait for the eggs to be done and then we can actually sit and plate this. Sauce is done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the vegetables to this so that pouring becomes easy. But kitna hona chahiye. How much of vegetables to add is what you need to first see. So don't add all the vegetables in one go. Just add little by little because it all has to stay saucy like this. This is exactly how it looks. And now we'll pour this over the noodles. So how do you do that? Some spring onions on top and now make some space to put the fried egg. That's it, my recipe of American Chopsy, especially for you. Don't forget to make this in your kitchen and also not to forget to like, share and subscribe to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana.